to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Sagittarius. Let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. Mm. Sagittarius, I hope you've had an excellent day so far, and if it's just starting out, I hope you have an excellent one ahead of you. I had a really busy weekend, so I've missed you guys. It's been a couple of days. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm being pulled towards the noisy ones. <laughs> Oh, actually, I want to start with the Fairy and the Norman first. Let's get an overall idea. These are kind of fun because they're different from Tarot. They have um, like playing cards at the top, and then they also have like fairy illustrations. Um, and I read them a little bit differently. Um, I read them in pairings. All right, let's see. So we have a message here. Hmm. This message is going to be something Sagittarius that gives you some stability or grounding and helps you understand which direction you want to move in. So this could be like a no contact situation that's coming back into contact. Or it could be just um, a message in particular that you've been waiting for, for a long time. And then we have the bear coming out. The bear represents strength. And then we have the book. So, I'm getting the feeling that spirit would like to let you know that it may require some strength, but you might have to be a little bit private or secret about something that's coming into you that's exciting. It could be something that's a little bit challenging or an obstacle, but there's an important message coming into you here and it might require uh, some determination on your part, but Spirit is saying there might be some wisdom here in you being really selective about who you speak to about this situation. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? So we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, in the reverse, and the Hanged Man in the reverse. Here we are. I love these cards. They're so cool to look at. Uh, so we have somebody who has decided to let go of something that has been holding them back. They see things in a different perspective now. Uh, they may have gotten some enlightenment or some kind of inspiration from someone in their life that is seen as kind of like wise um, beyond their years. But there's somebody here who has decided to... I think let go of like fear and anxiety um, in order to be able to get to the point where they can send this message. This message is about wanting a new beginning. This could be a little bit flirty. The Ace of Wands can be a little bit phallic sometimes, so we'll see what else comes out here. But with this clarifying the anchor, this is a message that is meant to build on a foundation. So again, if it's a no contact situation, this could be one of those things where somebody's like, I just, I really can't like go without you. Can we like come back together and get to know each other? We have seven of cups in the reverse, clarifying strength. So you're going to see an increase over time and feel like more and more comfortable or have more and more strength or courage when it comes to this situation because you'll see that there's not really a lack of confusion. So assuming this is a love situation, you won't really be tempted by other people. You'll be very focused on this one person because it does seem to be um, what you want. I'm getting the impression that in the past there might have been a situation here between you and this person where somebody was confused. Yeah, with the two of pentacles in the reverse, I'm getting that somebody was juggling or maybe had 
um, a difficult time choosing between you and another person, but that's no longer an issue. Uh, I feel like they want to come in and tell you that, like, I know now, like, you're the only one that I really care about. You're the only one that I, I can see myself with. <laughs> I don't know if you saw how that fell out either, but I love it. This is the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to offer stability and have something meaningful and long-term here. You don't want to play games anymore. What else do we have for Sagittarius here? So we have the Five of Swords in the reverse, clarifying the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So with regards to letting go, somebody, somebody maybe wants to take a different approach here, but they don't want to, to give up. It's a matter of, I accept now that I can't let go of the way that I feel for you, but sitting around doing nothing is doing no one any good. It's just making me miserable and maybe you miserable as well. So I might as well like actually like try to do something positive here and get some movement with regards to this. What else for Sagittarius, please? We have the Empress. I feel like this is moving. Um, so take it how it resonates. I'm going to put it in the upright. Be a little hopeful here for you, Sagittarius. Especially because this is clarifying the hanged man. I feel like there's a decent chance here we have a feminine energy who has had a change in perspective. That doesn't mean the masculine hasn't had a change in perspective, but I feel like there's something here about the Empress going back and forth a little bit as to whether or not she's given up on a situation because while she has had time to heal and she has maybe even taken a little bit of time to be a bit of a hermit, the idea of a new beginning is one that she can see with just her alone and also one that she can envision with a partner. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I think this is just clarifying that this lack of confusion here is because somebody has all the information that they need. They don't need to be doing any digging on social media or, you know, doing a background check or anything. They know that this is somebody that they feel very strongly for, but with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, there hasn't been that communication about it yet. <laughs> uh, Spirit has such a great sense of humor. So I say, just hasn't made this offer yet. And here we have the Knight of Pentacles, who's clearly a slow moving energy because he's not even like, look at the, wait, wait. look at the fucking hooves. Like they're just standing there. They're not moving at all. Not even like an attempt to walk, right? So this dude may have been delayed, but this King of Pentacles who's sitting there with that pentacle, now he's on his horse. Got him out of his seat. Progress. <laughs> all right, let's see. What else can we get for Sagittarius here? Um, this is the Angel Romance Oracle. Let's get a little bit of advice here pertaining to this King of Pentacles. There's obviously been some shifting here in terms of people's, maybe even like a spiritual awakening kind of thing. So let's see what we got for advice. Oh, Sagittarius, true love. I'll fucking take it. Soulmate. Sorry, uh, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I'm like getting goosebumps over here, you guys. This is exciting. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I definitely feel like there's something here that may have happened in the past, probably a rejection or a lack of decision regarding a love matter. And Spirit wants you to stay focused on releasing negative feelings, forgiving people, and focusing on what you can do differently going forward to make this a success because there's obviously a very strong connection here for you guys. Wow, okay. So we also have let your friends help you. So you might have a situation like an event or something where they like kind of like nudge you guys together or something. Um, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. 
So try to let go of any anxiety or you know nervousness. I know that's easier said than done, but when you know that this is something that's gonna come your way, um, it helps to kind of calm yourself and just remember that if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Express your love. Don't be afraid to let somebody know how you feel. And then there might be children that are impacting or affecting this particular connection. Um, yeah, we'll do messages. So this is called the untold messages of the heart. Since we clearly have some, some love bloom in here, we will get a little of that. All right, what additional messages do we have for Sagittarius, please? I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. What else do you have for Sagittarius? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think the rejection would be what probably happened between you two that has caused the distance here. I am telling you the truth. Can you trust my words? So there might have been some dishonesty here in the past, but someone wants you to know that they're telling the truth. So it does look like you can probably trust whoever this other person is. And then we have the feelings I have for you overwhelm me. So I run away to process them. It might be difficult to be patient, but uh, this person may need a little bit of time to adjust to what unconditional love or real love feels like. I can't be apart from you much longer. Someone's a little eager beaver. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading here, Sagittarius, and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.